And in this video, we're going to test this submersible pump. First, we use the um, all test four again. Short our uh, leads out. Auto mode, compare. Okay. Connect winding one. Press OK and we allow it to run the tests. Okay, that's phase one. We're going to connect to phase two and run our tests again. Last, move one more lead. We run the final phase. Okay. Then we do our insulation test. Okay, press and hold. And we have more than 100 mega ohms. Press OK. We save. And we are done. We take a look at our readings. Everything appears to be relatively balanced. A low, high, medium on my impedance. Uh, 72, 71, 72, that's good. Um, low, high, medium on my inductance. Uh, 40, 39, 40, that's good as well. So, done with the test. Winding looks good. Okay, in this case, what I've done again, I've taken the uh, about three minutes to enter in the nameplate data. Uh, and I'm preparing now to run the tests also on that same submersible pump. Uh, I can press uh, the screen as well in order to run things. And we start out, and we know it's 80 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. We accept that reading, and we allow it to start running its tests. As we saw, the all test is tested as good. Uh, we shall see if uh, we'll get the same results uh, with the uh, AWA. Did the same thing as I did on a previous test where I've uh, changed it from a step voltage high pot to a straight 30 second high pot so that I can meet the requirements for YouTube without having to uh, take out uh, any time on demonstrating the tests. Perfectly balanced. Now we're going to go to our mega test, 500 volts. Now leakage current's a little higher than uh, the last motor that we tested, about 2.6 microamps. Uh, but let's see what happens with our mega ohms, which are staying at about 192 uh, mega ohms. Question will be what happens with the dielectric absorption test. So our insulation resistance continues to climb just a bit. Now we're going to a DA test, dielectric absorption.
flat. So I have a feeling this one may be borderline or fail the uh, dielectric absorption. going to do our um, high potential test, 2,000 volts, and the leakage is definitely coming up. So the question is, uh, will it actually perform the, the, um, uh -oh. the, the test? Now it's holding at 12 uh, microamps and uh, the mega test is uh, sitting at 167 megohms at 2000 volts, so uh, we'll see what happens. The big test will be again the surge test. Discharged. And last but not least, our surge test. 2,000 volts. It's a relatively new winding. Lead one. You notice the curve um, does not have a familiar ringing effect. Uh, this is a, uh, an effect due to the rotor that's in the stator. Uh, it has some influence on the it's called tank circuit between the surge test and the uh, inductance of the winding. Okay, you've got a separation between the two. The question is, is that separation deemed acceptable by the test equipment? And more than likely is due to the uh, rotor. That's significantly different. And the uh, AWA has deemed this as passed.